You can now buy unsigned poses for only $15. And if you'd like to keep yourself warm, you can also find hoodies and t-shirts. Head over to CraneGamePlays.com and get your merch now. Picture this. You awake one evening to a dry, dry mouth. You extend your arm over your shoulder and grasp at nothing on your nightstand. You forgot to get yourself a glass of water before heading to bed. So you get up and you get out of bed and you open your bedroom door, heading down the dark but familiar hallway. You're headed to the kitchen. But as you draw nearer, you start to hear the shuffling of something in the dark. Human footsteps creaking through your house. You make it to the kitchen. The only light spilling into the room is from your open fridge. You didn't open the fridge. And that's when you catch it just out of the corner of your eye. A pair of legs slipping up into the attic. You think it's just your mind playing tricks on you in the night, but as you look up towards the attic door, you see a pair of eyes looking back at you. And that's me. I live in your house. I'm a squatter. Hello, everybody. (laughs) Welcome back. (laughs) We're going to be playing some spooky, scary games today. This one is called There's a Man in Your Attic, I think, or The Man in Your Attic. Whoever's editing, put the correct title up on screen. Uh, I am horrified of living in a space and having somebody live alongside me, and I don't know that they're there. So I'm assuming that this game is about squatters when i was a kid i often had the same nightmare it was about this man just standing in my room looking at me i was convinced that he came from the attic i shared a bedroom with my brother at the time and when i had this dream i often spoke out loud during my sleep according to my brother i said things like somebody is here there's a man here he is here it freaked out my brother And in the middle of the night, it freaked out my brother. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory. Until it's not. (gasps) Oh, find phone. Oh, do I have a flashlight or anything? Icky. Icky. Is my phone not in here? I move. Oh, so slow. It sounds like it's coming from out here. We'll go downstairs. Ugh. Ah, there it is. There's me phone. Hey, brother. I just want to let you know that we arrived home safely. Thank you for the in- invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are. In their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Hmm. It's getting late. I should clean up first. Okay. Clean up the dining table. Oh, yeah. Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family, along with his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. It's been a while since... So, technically, she is my... Okay. It's been a while since I had last seen them, so I spent about half an hour catching up with each other and just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and let her uh, and let her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. But... I don't like how dark it is in here. Let's put these in the sink. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when, all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak. But then what she finally said was this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checking the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother Lily dismissed, or my, eventually my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. 
I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. It might be a spooky man in the house. All right, well, I've done the dishes. Time to get some sleep. Oh, I hate how slow I move. I really hate it. Hey, life. I'm just not even going to look up there. Oh, according to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Oh. The noises, they're coming from the attic. Let's just go to bed. Oh. oh, what a lovely mountain. Oh. Oh, I don't. What if I don't want to go up there? You know? Oh, search the attic. I don't remember leaving this door open. Oh my god, it's just like the fridge in the story I just told you. Hello? Hello, scary man in the attic. Is this Narnia? This is not. You. What if I'm the man in the attic? You know? Now I am the man in the attic. Uh, my ass. <laughs> I don't want it. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Oh, it's moving by itself. Is the man in the attic for real? I hate that I'm not controlling this, and it's just doing it on its own. Hello? This is spooky. Oh. Ide. Ah, Eep. Ah, eep. 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 <laughs> Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. And what about the woman in the attic and the woman in the basement? Huh? Or the NB in the attic. Or under the bed. Huh? This game is sexist. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you for playing my specific fear. The man in the attic. That was cool. I really like that. That is, that hit me a little bit. Like, I, that kind of stuff freaks me out. I love that there wasn't a jump scare. It was just like, you know, and you didn't even see anything except for the eyes. You know? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, next game. Warning. This game contains disturbing imagery, sounds, and flashing lights. The floor is breathing. Let's go. This is, uh, I think this is the description was something about a liminal space. Which is interesting. And so you understand what we found. Do I? Oh. Hello. Four mutilated corpses inside of your home. What did you do? I like the feel of their breath through the floor boards. That's gross. January 7th, 2007, 7.36 p.m. Welcome home. Ha ha, welcome home. There's bodies under your floor. Oh, yeah, this is nice and not creepy at all. You can check tasks. Check for monsters under the bed. Use my hammer to fix the window. What? Use your hammer to fix the window? Watch TV, go to sleep. Wait, what does that say? Have a lovely day. So 
Task number one, check for monsters under the bed. I hate how insanely dark this is. How am I supposed to find my bed? It's so goddamn dark in here. I can barely see a thing. In fact, I really can't see anything. Go upstairs, okay. You have a lot of the same painting around here. M me? Pick up hammer. Did I look for monsters under the bed? Oh, okay, cool. I guess I did that. Okay, so now we'll use the hammer and we'll fix the window. Mm-hmm. Let's board up. Ah, that's what that means. Okay. Heh. <laughs> I don't... Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> like that. Love that. Is the TV? Oh, the TV's not in here, is it? Where's the TV? Oh. Ew. Alright, let's go to bed. Icky. Icky. Icky Vicky. Ew, ew. Icky Vicky. Ew, ew. Anybody? And then what? Are these the people that I killed and hid under the floorboards? January 18th. This is the day after. 8.21 p.m. Why can't we do things in the daytime? Hmm? I'd like it when, you know, we can see things and it's bright and there's no uh, spooky shadows hanging out. Check if the window is safe. Check for monsters under the bed. Watch TV go to sleep. Okay, do I have to do them all in order? Let's fix the window. <laughs> can we watch the TV here? Oh, do I have to do it in order? I don't like doing it in order. I just want to do it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's so spooky, you know. No monsters under the bed. Watch TV. <laughs> I don't want that big red face to come back. It made me upset. It made me upset, you know. Oof. One. I hate that. I hate that noise. Oh my god. Oh, subject has various gross lesions across the chest and face. Hemorrhage. Oh, subject has rope burns around the neck and wrist. Loss of three fingers. Hidden under the floorboards. <laughs> oh, the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds which they have done in an ungodly way and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Don't make me do another day. Oh. Go to sleep. Well, it's the end of the day to go to sleep. Everything's probably fine. Oh no. Oh, 
<laughs> I knew it. We have to do all four. <sighs> this is creepy. It's very unsettling. Okay, 19th, 2007. 756. Welcome home. Repair the door. Check for monsters under the bed. Okay. We're speed running this bitch. We're speed running it. Oh, I can hear breathing. I can already hear breathing. Watch TV. Oh, the TV's by out though. It makes bad things happen. Oh boy. Go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Let's get there as fast as it's human. I don't want to answer the phone. I don't want to answer the phone. You can't make me do it. Oh, where's the phone? Oh, my wife. Who, who still has a rotary phone in this day and age, huh? day. Hey! Okay. Oh, two little ducks went quack, quack, quack. Only one little duck came back. Stop moving. Somebody's knocking on me door. Somebody's knocking on me door. Hey, buddy. Wait, what did I say? Huh? Huh? Then I should pray and say, Oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, can I go to bed? Oh, there's a door. Open your eyes. Am I going to cut my eyes off? What? What the fuck? Why does it look like I'm underwater? It's like it's bikini bottom. What is that over there? <gasps> Dude, it's a treehouse with a cool slide. I wanna go in it. I wanna go in it. Do I wanna go in that, actually? Open your eyes. To my dearest Samantha, how's your husband? Uh, though I suppose you wouldn't know, but I know. I saw what you've done, and I saw how you murdered your son, too. You make my blood curl, posting your vile actions online, creating a circus out of death of your own flesh and blood. Uh, deplorable filth. I have all of it recorded, saved, and so did the police. You will not escape your crime. 
nor your judgment. Enjoy eternal suffering, you sick, twisted fuck. Finish what we started? Oh, pick up the hammer. Pretty out here. Very, it's a beautiful day to kill uh, the closest, the closest uh, loved ones to me. Beautiful day to kill my family and hide them in the floorboards. Wonderful, beautiful day. Why does this seem kind of nice? You know, it's well, it's a little bit creepy, but how do I get in? How do I enter the house? Oh. Warrant to enter and search the premises. Um, how? I feel like nobody's going to really open up. TBH. Ciao, mama. Close your eyes. Uh -uh. What the f is going on? Hey. You can't run forever. They can't take us alive. Whoa. Oh. Go to sleep. Dude, that was really dark. It was really cool and good. I thought it was about a liminal space. I mean, I guess kind of. Ugh. Yuck. Did she take out all their eyes? Oofers, doofers, dude. Oofers, doofers. Real? Are those real people? Four murders. And you couldn't even kill yourself. Uh. You're crowded by physical and digital evidence. blood on my hands will stain your
conscious into the fire. The floor is breathing. Ugh. That was really good. Very, very, very unsettling. Very dark. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, last game. Here we go. Ramat. Press E to start. Oh, okay. We're going right in. It. Destroy them all. Destroy who? What? Five? Five what? Oh, it's so cinematic. Oh. <laughs> um. I... I don't know about this one. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this. I hate how good this looks. Oh. Oh my god, that shadow. Holy f Yoink. This atmosphere is nuts. Sometimes you have to plunge into the darkness to get out of a closed loop. Oh. Oh. Turning my volume down because I'm a pussy and I'm not afraid to say it, but I am afraid of this atmosphere and it's creepy as f Ooh. What is? This is really fucking crazy. Oh my god, the atmosphere. Dude. Oh, that was in the game. Hello? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I agree. Whoa! I turned my volume back up. Frank, it's a fallen angel. Oh. Dude, 1972 to 1921.
one will end. want. Yeah, neither do I. Ah! Jesus fuck. Oh my god. I'm gonna piss my fucking shorts, dude. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. I can't, I can't fucking go to a meeting with piss on my, my pants. You know? I heard it. Oh god, that atmosphere was fucking awesome. Even though the mechanics were just you just had to find five things. That was so cool. That was so unsettling. That might be my favorite one of the bunch, honestly. Uh, that was really, really, really cool. Anyway, those were some fun games for y'all. If you want to check out any of the games, you can down in the link in the description below. Thoroughly enjoyed those. Anyway, go check those out. Hope you enjoyed and I will uh, I'll see you later. So bye bye.